Yeah, I realized I have not played Loki in forever, but uh, in this video series where we take a look at decks that have hit number one on the ranked leaderboard, well, sure enough, Loki here has shown up in this uh, Werewolf by Night Beast Bounce Loki deck uh, that uh, is not quite as easy as most of the decks I feature in this easy mode video series. I think this deck's actually fairly complicated to play, but nonetheless, its numbers are so big on the back of giant collectors, giant werewolf by knights, Lokis, where it feels like he just completely steals the game out from under your opponent. All of those different win conditions are just so enormous and so significant that even if you play this deck pretty poorly, which I think a few games I played pretty poorly even in this video, you still just get there. The numbers are just big enough. There's some wiggle room basically because of the raw power this deck uh, is able to put out successfully. You've also got tech cards in here like Shang-Chi and Rogue, which can help you steal wins and cubes from time to time too, uh, which definitely helps soften some of those edges. But really the game plan here is to get down Collector, get down Werewolf by Night, start playing your one drop on reveals to either move your Werewolf around to scale up your Collector, pull them back to hand with Beast or Falcon. Once again, scaling up your Collector, also letting you replay them to scale up your werewolf by night you won't always have both of those engines running simultaneously but one of the other usually gets you pretty far and then either a tech card or loki can come in to uh seal the deal as well on those final couple turns so yeah ultimately i, I think a pretty fun deck to play loki is still a an enjoyable card to play as much as i hate playing against him and think he kind of feels like cheesing games very often, it's still fun to have that chaotic hand where you don't really know what you're gonna get and uh, try to make the most of it. But also the bounce stuff in this deck can be pretty enjoyable as well. Just spamming a lot of different cards and trying to line up all those tough uh, werewolf by night positions is a challenge, but a rewarding one when it works. So yeah, I might give this deck a few games to kind of warm up. You may play it pretty poorly at first, but after a while, I think you'll get in the swing of things and start winning a lot with this deck. Uh, much like I did. That was certainly my experience, some of which you'll kind of see me figuring things out in this video. All right, Nico. Uh, honestly, Nexus kind of sucks for us. <laughs> I think we turn it off. I mean, technically, Collector can get there, but it's kind of hard to get a Werewolf there sometimes. And we don't have Collector in hand anyway, so let's just turn off Nexus, I think. Uh, we could play Goose. That's chill. We don't need a Falcon yet, yeah. Goose is pretty much fine for us. Loki a little bit restrictive, I guess, but that's all. Turn off the Nexus. Collapsed mine? Bro, I could use Falcon to pull those back. <laughs> but my hand will be full of garbage. Man, normally I love playing Werewolf by Night here. I, I might, right? I think I might, just because I can Werewolf by Night, and then I can just Falcon anyway next turn. I pull the rocks back. It doesn't matter, because I'm going to transform them with Loki regardless. Uh, and then I don't have to lose a turn. I just get to benefit from Werewolf by Night for a turn, right? I think this is, uh, I, I'm always, I, I do this all the time where I'm like looking for ways around the, uh, collapsed mine. And I think once again, I might've found one. Uh, okay. So this is going to add four cards to hand, which is great for collector and great for Loki, dude. Like this is insane. The rocks costing one is just too perfect. Really? It's kind of nuts. Um, so, oh, nice. Scary. Okay. Uh, what is Nico? Had a copy to your hand. Let's just use this to activate the Negasonic, right? I don't want to mess with that right now. Let's it's one last, uh, card for loki sort of although i guess not right she's gonna copy the loki maybe i don't know uh maybe like technically i like this order a little better right because of the werewolf bounces it means i don't copy a loki but i guess it doesn't really matter i don't need a second loki probably anyway this is better for the werewolf bounces Ooh, killmonger yikes um this hand's really not a great hand <laughs> i mean i think negasonic's pretty good right like negasonic can always kind of just make plays we kind of expect the werewolf by night to move away right just wondering if something like this is honestly okay this played anywhere else is gonna pull both werewolves but we just have like a 10 point advantage here Obviously, Werewolf can pull that back, 
I don't know, big lead here. I think we're gonna actually add a power here off the off the uh, Nico, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> what is this, seven? If the werewolf moves away, they only have five. I mean, we could probably get away with a Killmonger here. Shore this up a little bit. This order means the wolf stays, and then you just kind of hope seven's enough and that Nico protects anything played here. Yeah, I think this is reasonable. This pulls the wolf mid, Nico eats that, and I think we're happy. Shadow King, oh. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, the plan worked, but Shadow King, your own werewolf. Bold, sir. I don't even, did order matter there? Did sequence matter, I wonder? Maybe they're gonna try to hit mine moving, I guess. That's probably why. They probably just forgot about theirs, but that happens. Oh, we even won mid, nice. I didn't expect that. Yeah, this was a big, big hit. Looks like the opponent just missed their Silver Surfer, maybe. Sarah Surfer looks like to me. Loki, once again, just playing other people's decks better than them. It's so stupid. <laughs> I really hate it. I really hate it. Uh, oh yeah, Collector in hand. Uh, let's chill on these one drops. Uh, both Werewolf and Collector scale up off the ones, so that's nice. What did they play? I didn't even see what they played. Holy crap, what was that? That was a Bast. Okay, interesting. Bast and Elsa together. Cool. Uh, we're going to want to play the one drops in Kunlun fairly often for Werewolf by Night. Also Quantum Tunnel, I guess. So I think Collector Right makes sense. Especially in case we want to like Beast Bounce the one drops or something. Uh, we can definitely start Werewolf here. Ooh, Raft is so good too though. Dang. Ah. Uh, Okay, <laughs> we actually have enough ones. We can still bounce werewolf over. Now, I actually need to think about this. Uh, does quantum tunnel werewolf by night work? I don't think it does because Luke's bar doesn't work because he has to be able to see the on reveal card. I think like if it's not there, he'll try to move to deck or try to move to hand. And obviously he can't do that. So in other words, um, maybe we test it with Forge, but I actually don't think it's gonna work. Um, and then we can still fill Raft here. Werewolf will be able to move out on five, so we're not even overcommitted. Uh, so we're kind of getting a Marie Hill turn into a demon. Pretty big power, Snow Guard there. Werewolf will end up somewhere else. Quantum Tunnel, we really don't have any good hits except maybe Loki. Oh, maybe I should have played, uh, oh. Oh, maybe I should have played the uh, hand size cards first in case of Loki. I don't know. Just happy to have four cards here. Not Loki. Okay, saved. This deck, man, there's so many little tiny things you can get wrong. Just so many little sequences. Oh, and by the way, we saw the world by night indeed did not move as, as suspected. So the opponent also gets a raft. They're a little more full in raft, but not really because of Jeff and Bishop. They certainly saw the ability to pivot out. Tribunal for us, I mean, it's probably not super useful. We could do this for a Loki, maybe. The thing is, like, Tribunal's just nine power, but he's really kind of three power everywhere, but he's also gonna make it really hard to win. Really hard to win right. Like, we have a better chance maybe of winning left and mid with Tribunal, but kind of putting a lot of power elsewhere. Let's save him and see if we can hit a Loki first, maybe. Falcon, I don't think is really worth it here necessarily. Because the demon is like, yeah, I don't have to replay that. Yeah, let's do this. This moves werewolf mid, so we have ultimate kind of werewolf flexibility, although that's still not totally true, is it, with Quantum Tunnel? It's kind of hard. We'll see how it goes, though. Werewolf gets big mid. Opponent didn't try to Quantum Tunnel, so they don't lose anything there. Moon Girl, ooh. We're on five though, it's not as bad, right? Typically. We have priority, so Shang-Chi is just utter garbage. I can get Loki or Rogue left. Oh uh, no, I can't, because Quantum Tunnel is turned off. Ah, uh, boy, this feels weird, but it might be right. Can we just try to win this with these two, mid and left? Boy, I don't know. It's adding 18 power, but the opponent also has Raft. <laughs> they have two zero cost six drops potentially quantum tunnel being turned off might be good for them uh, I, I, this doesn't feel good enough to me this feels pretty bad how many six drops do they get is tribunal too small 
19 mid and 9. I mean, that's a pretty good spread on the tribunal, to be honest. That leader just also whiffs. Oh my god, double leader. Wow. Martyr! Oh my god. The martyr, dude. <laughs> that's sick. Okay, this is enough. Yeah, this game was weird. Just 18 power spread was enough. Yeah, okay. I feel better. Martyr, dude. That's great. Double leader martyr is not what I expected, but that's crazy. <laughs> All right, early Nico. Uh, I've really nice her double this card's power. Shame we can't kind of do these together here. Um, fist bump me, yeah. Um, let's save on the Nico, right? Forge here to, um, I guess kind of can't hit anything. We're just sort of looking to set up a bounce spot. Uh, but let's wait, we can play both of these together on two. I think, I think chilling is fine. Finding a better opportunity. Oh, well now we want to dump them for sure. And this is fantastic. Yeah, great news. Turn this uh, into a demon. Actually, if we're gonna bounce now, we don't really want to bounce the demon necessarily. It's not wrong, but it's not maybe the best bounce scenario. So let's maybe go forge right in this case. Uh, happy to dump some hand though into Atalan, obviously. Zabu, do we just rogue that? I mean, my alternative is Snow Guard, which doesn't really feel that good. Snowguard puts the the, the 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 stuff in there. World by Night's pretty good too, but I feel like this is a higher likelihood to just shut down the opponent. We could potentially steal a Darkhawk later. Uh, the thing is though, we don't know if they have a Darkhawk. We don't know if we're gonna see a Darkhawk. So let's just steal a Zabu. I think that's fine. Take our guarantee. World by Night, you know, is a great card, but uh, if you look, we don't have that many on reveals left to bounce it. Even, you know, a couple in hand, but we're gonna lose some, like Collector's Knot. I mean, Chang Chi is, I guess, but not much of one. Oh, that gets shuffled in. Okay, hopefully we don't get it back. We do not. Nice. Okay. Collector Solid. Collector Maria is pretty good. Collector Loki is insane. Yeah. Let's start building a collector spot, I guess. We're really strong here. Loki next turn, we can actually play with uh, the Maria card if we want. I doubt that happens because we probably just value the card in hand more, but possibility if it's really really good colleen is not really really good <laughs> confirmed actually very bad something like snow guard would be nuts though maybe even a falcon would be nuts i don't know demon getting transformed is probably not great yeah i don't i don't think this is good for falcon right i think we just loki this so strong right strong mid strong left loki gives us great plays potentially next turn hard to lose here <laughs> This Marvel's really good. They got their Zabu back. Perhaps more frighteningly though, they would get a Miss Marvel, which is currently active. My Miss Marvel is also active, I guess. It's just kind of giving them that for free. It doesn't really feel very good, does it? But if I play one, maybe I just do the Super Scroll to counter their Miss Marvel, right? Maybe it's actually that simple. Maybe this is really a weird kind of game. Uh, I can play a Zabu actually as well here too, because this is one, three, two. If they play a uh, Miss Marvel, that is. Uh, I don't know, man. This is a little wacky, but we're gonna try to we're gonna try to call their call their hit here. Let's see. Let's see. Miss Marvel, nice. Darkhawk, nice. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, I I guess would we have lost if we played our own Miss Marvel here? Probably. Darkhawk was enough there, even with a Miss Marvel buff, but. Big here, big left is nice, yeah. Man, it has actually been forever. Like, legitimately forever since I played a Loki deck. I don't think I've played Loki since the week he came out. Uh, so this should be fun. Uh, they always feel really powerful. And of course, this deck hitting um, number one certainly supports that as well. Handful of different Loki variations out there, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this one feels. It's gonna be revolutionary to play a good deck be like what is this what is this crazy good deck uh okay shuri's lab with beast is actually usually pretty crazy because you can kind of double up your scaling and then you've also got um shang chi in there as well so i might just go ahead and 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 put in this multiple man we could go for like a turn four beast into turn five you know these are pretty cheap uh we could even bounce the maria again um we wanted to i mean i guess she's only gonna have uh the one shuri's lab anyway let's just start here for now we may we may decide to beast on three if it makes more sense if it feels better right uh but we'll see 
Shang Chi gives us a lot of potential. Oh, Limbo gives us a lot of time. I think, um, I think in that case we maybe we greed this a little more, right? We bounce Maria, we get the Falcon, we play Maria Beast next turn, get another cycle on the Falcon Maria. That looks pretty good. Uh, we would like to get Collector down for that first, I guess. Um, yeah, I think we'll have time for all that. So let's get Collector down first. It does put the curve a little weird unless I hit like a good one drop here to go with all this. That would be nice. But uh, okay, so Carnage. Ooh, that makes a Venom potentially very good there. Just playing Angel. All right. Werewolf by Night. Man, another card we wouldn't mind weaving into the curve here next turn on five we go falcon beast on six we can go maria falcon again seven we still have shang chi world by night's weird though because next turn i'm going to be playing both on reveals here i mean i guess the werewolf will follow in behind the beast to get plus two uh if i put it here i don't get to bounce falcon again but i guess i don't really need the bout the falcon to be here then i can pull falcon here Beast here pulls the werewolf out. That's worth more than the other way around, right? I guess this is fine. We may pivot as well, too. Jessica Jones. All right. Jessica's pretty big. Uh, okay, so yeah, Falcon here, Beast here. Loki next turn's another possibility, too. My god, we have so many options, dude. Uh, Muslim goes up to 12. Werewolf goes here. Beast pulls these two back. Actually, Beast does not pull Maria back in this case. Yeah, the whole point was to really get the Falcon pulled back too. I, I don't know about this plan now, man. <laughs> no, I'm not so sure about this plan. Now I'm like, do I just play Loki, right? Or maybe I just pull back um, Werewolf too. I don't know. This plan kind of got kind of got silly. It's really just about multiple man in this case. It's fine. It's actually still a pretty good plan. So Iron Man's a pickle on Shuri's lab, but interestingly, we can outscale that sometimes pretty well. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Well, power multiple man. Do they play something big in Shuri's lab is like part of that question, right? Oh, we have Rogue. Oh God, Rogue's in the stack. Oh, forget it. That's not a problem at all. That's insane. <laughs> Take it back. Um, so Loki maybe is just a, a collector buffer in this case, right? So multiple man here. Uh, we play something like Maria here pull away the werewolf Rogue uh, will not be an on reveal when she reveals right so I don't think she'll pull werewolf by night back mid in which case We will kind of be locked up here, but that's okay because we can play Loki to buff collector still. I think this looks all right uh, Hulk is big, but that's a potential strong chi target. Are they just running Hulk Bro, I don't know what this deck is. It kind of almost feels like a bot deck or something, but I don't think so. I am Iron Man. All right. Uh, so we're losing 12. That puts us at 11, but Loki goes here. We can just do like a Jeff here or something, I guess. Uh, what, is, what does Nico have? Destroy it and draw two. I don't really need that, but I mean, this is just free power, I guess. Uh, are we ever better off with just like Shang-Chi? No, that's not the right size. Yeah, I mean, this pulls the werewolf. I mean, maybe we're just better off with Nico in hand to put a little power on Collector. Probably true with Jeff, too, because we're going to have, like, 17, 19 here. Yeah, let's just leave these in hand to buff Collector in this case. So he's going to gain 5. It's 11, 14. Yeah, this is enough to pull us ahead in every spot. This should be okay, I think. I don't know. There's there's definitely some risk, but Collector going left in particular. I mean, excuse me, werewolf going left in particular makes us really big. Uh, Venom there, do they have Taskmaster? No, 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 too expensive, so that's not a threat. Yeah, Squirrel Girl certainly does not do the job. Even makes Collector bigger. Nice, dude! Rogue OP! This deck is very weird, though. I don't know what this deck's about. I'm not gonna take- I'm not gonna feel too good about this win, <laughs> to be honest. It's a weird deck. Destroy with, like, Jessica and Hulk and- I don't know, man. Maybe there's some weird build I don't know about. Uh, Forge Collector's actually chill. We'll do that. That's fine. Just to get a, uh, get some info here off Inferno. Let's see what we find out. Uh, Wave Gone. Okay. It's probably a deck that's trying to cheat out some big stuff. We may want to tempo pretty hard here to make sure that we, uh, <clears throat> don't get stuck behind, you know, uh, Sandman or a Galactus Lane or something. A few different possibilities here we might want to avoid. Oh, Silk instead, maybe C5 or uh, Cerebro 5. So Rogue could actually be really good in this scenario. 
Uh, maybe we want to look for Rogue to turn off a Cerebro late. It's a possibility now. Could just try to win on, on scaling too. That's not a problem necessarily. Uh, oh, dude. Kun Luna is so good right now. With C oh, no. It's not good for a C5 deck though. Oh, we hit this anyway though. My God. It's not good if you're a C5 deck. <laughs> Are they a C5 deck? Uh, I mean, so far it sure looks like it, but Silk is up to seven, so if they are, they're maybe a little bit screwed. Um, I kind of hate not playing the Rogue here, but it definitely has value for Cerebro. I mean, maybe they'll they'll, they'll push everything to seven. I don't know. Kunlun is the featured location right now, so um, kind of maybe maybe more tempo move. Really, maybe not C5. The wave though sure makes you think C5, doesn't it? But Craven's pretty risky in a in a Cerebro deck because he could get too big. So I don't I don't think it's uh I don't know I don't think it's uh C five. I think I've seen Wave in some of these tempo -y decks too though. Oh, that's a good Rogue target as well. But I just killed my freaking Rogue Loki, bro. <laughs> no, I mean everything is still five. So I'm like, oh dude, I I knew I was suspicious for a reason. <laughs> They gotta be careful though, because this silk is gonna really hurt them a lot. Uh, to me, this just feels like Doctor Doom, right? Uh, we could actually go Enchantress as well though, if we think we like that better. It's still pretty good. It's still a pretty good turn for us, honestly. Uh, with Enchantress, uh, this would pull Werewolf. This would not. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty good, right? It's actually just about as good as Dr. Doom because Silence off the Marvel, which makes a big, big difference. Yeah, Loki here feels insane. Is this just Dr. Doom for them, maybe? <sighs> Plus nine now there. That is actually crap. I did kind of screw myself a little bit on the Silk going, uh, going mid, but it doesn't matter because we turned off the Marvel. It's all good. Yep. Okay. Nice. And I kind of just thought we'd be big enough, but we're not. <laughs> Nine plus uh, 15 is pretty big, it turns out. Jeez. If she had gone left, of course, we would have been fine mid, right? Uh, actually, it would have been 20 to 20. So it might have been a little more cavalier at the end than it should have been with this enchantress. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get our one drops down to this falcon. That's fine. We can contest eternity range pretty hard here. Set up for a beast spot or falcon. Nebula, definitely a card. I like to contest, but now this beast is gonna feel too good. All right, get another buff on Forge. Get another Snowguard hit. I mean, our Snowguard is gonna be. Uh, excuse me, our beast is gonna be filling up the hand. Maybe we rip the uh, werewolf by night first, then we beast. We're still gonna have hand size problems unless we hit a one drop, but uh, that's okay. Nebula, it's gonna be kind of hard for us to kill, honestly. Falcon pulls back a ninja too, which could be kind of a plus two in a weird way. Storm, I mean, they just really don't want me contesting that, I guess. Snowguard Hawk can actually still contest it is the funny thing. Uh, we can pull a werewolf here too for now. It's gonna be actually pretty big already. It's kind of nice. If we get Hawk on five and go back at this, I'm not sure that we totally want to necessarily just because Nebula is kind of a pain, but it's not impossible, especially with a werewolf there to kind of rip it back. The Snowguard is going to kind of fill my hand, but that's okay because we don't care about drawing Chavez on six anyway. We don't really mind. When we play this on turn five, that is. Okay. Mantis, probably not helpful now. That is great for us with Rogue. Oh boy, that's nice. Okay. Uh, so this will pull Werewolf left. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe we forge that too. Could actually Falcon here as well. I don't even mind necessarily. Just really pulls that Werewolf into insanity. We got the Hawk so we can play to Flooding. We've got Rogue. Yeah, I mean, rogue plus bear, or well, rogue plus some combination of one drops, right? It's gonna be the way to go. Now, are we actually gonna get the one drops I care about? Well, there's only three on board, four on board, so yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I like this. Oh, game plan changed. 
Well, there goes our rogue game plan, doesn't it? Shoot. I mean, are we still big enough anyway? It's not a win mid, but can we win right and left? Just because werewolf is so... Oh, but I can't really play left is the problem. Only going to have eight power there. You know, though, we could maybe... Well, no, we can't just leave. No, nah, that's not going to work. Oh, man. I think they boomed us, guys. I think they boomed us. I am so sick of Professor X, to be honest, man. Over him. Yeah, and we're only going to have 12 here. You don't feel like 12 ever beats this, right? They only need seven power. I feel like that's pretty easy to beat. I mean, I'll play it out just to see, but surely this is fine for them. Shang-Chi? Maybe they took a break from the game for a while? Victory. <laughs> He's only 10 now. <laughs> We're taking some emotes. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they knew it wasn't bouncing back over there because there's no way to do that. It's it's full. So they could have shang chi here, maybe. Uh, oh, but I guess they couldn't have because they had priority. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This is what happens when your deck just has a lot of powerful things. Sometimes you just stumble into victories and you don't care at all. <laughs> you just, you just, you know, you win by default when your opponents make enough mistakes. All right, um, yeah, let's jump a forge. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe build ourselves a little bounce spot in case we hit a beast here. Could do some work. Echo, no problem for us at all. We don't care at all. Uh, oh, another one cost. Nice. Bonus. Ooh, yeah, let's get Collector down. Uh, don't really need him to be getting the Forge buff, sadly, but I do want to play him prior to Snow Guard in particular, so let's go ahead and get him down here. Uh, Falcon's going to bounce multiple ones here. We can actually, if we, since we don't have Beast and we do have Falcon, we can probably just play into Nebula instead. Collector at six. I feel like that's gonna be, I mean, this is gonna be a pretty big, pretty big collector, right? We can put a Nico in here, I guess. This is gonna be a big holla, in other words. I don't think the opponent's gonna have the opportunity to really, oh, well, all right, that's fine too. <laughs> Same difference, I guess. He's super safe now. Viper. Oh, dude, that ninja would be a pretty interesting Viper option, huh? Oh. Could send the opponent. I mean, I can just tempo the Viper, right? Because we're going to have the, the Nico pulled back. Although, actually, are we? What's the order here? I think it was Ninja, Forge, Snow Guard, Maria on the order. And I only have three spots available. So we're going to get a Ninja. Yeah, this, uh, this Viper is actually a bit clunky, isn't it? I'm wondering if I maybe just go Loki now. I don't have a lot of space left is my only plan, only problem, but I also just don't have a lot to do with the Falcon other than just buffing the Collector a few more times. Maybe we just go Loki now. The opponent has a fairly expensive hand, or, or you know, cards, like three drops and stuff. Not, not expensive, but you know, like, like we may need energy. See, here's a Gamora for instance, yeah. Okay. Can we win left though? Oh, a Lyoth, bro. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, I can like lock them up here, you know, just say like, let's give this basically. If I get ahead enough, I may not have to worry about Eliath, right? Get ahead here, get ahead here. Just pull, pull a garbage echo here so that they're locked out and I have more advantage here basically. Oh, if I hit beast though, I'm so screwed. If I hit Beast, I'm so screwed. Maybe it's just Nebula. It doesn't feel like enough advantage because Gamora in particular could really hurt me. Maybe it's this then, right? Maybe you screw the Polaris. I don't know if I want to totally Nebula because... I mean, maybe I leave this open. There's only going to be a what? Uh, Chavez would technically flip there, I guess. Gamora v. Gamora gives me enough advantage that I don't have to worry about Eliath, right? That should be fine. 
Yeah, okay, so Eliath does not win right now. We've basically negated the Eliath advantage, and then I can just Chavez left, I guess, right? That's fine. Up uh, 11 here, up 7 here. Yeah, I mean, this is technically a winning line. Yeah, for sure. Just knowing that they have Eliath and, and kind of neutering it via priority is really nice. I think we played this okay. Loki was a, an obscene amount of power, of course, you know. As always, so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. I just feel like I'm just cheating half the time I play this deck. Uh, Nico is draw, destroy and draw two. It's actually pretty good for our deck. Yeah, we can just throw a forge in there. It's fine. He's a good throwaway card. Probably the best option in the deck for that actually, isn't he? Yeah. We hit a collector. It would make our curve a little funky. We'd like lose a Maria Hill hit on the collector, but that's not the end of the world. We'd be chill with that, I think. Tom Tamalito should not be handling a katana. Probably not because you're a dinosaur mech. Might be bad. Thanos deck. I haven't played a Thanos deck in about six years. <sighs> we actually hit the collector. Dang it. I mean, we can still wait. I, does, do, do these? I don't know how these work together. Uh, am I going to get the cards? Is, is Vormir not going to activate? I don't know what happens. <laughs> so Nico destroyed it. Is Vormir okay? It also turned off Vormir. Okay, it went it went gray. So I think that's what we wanted. That seems like the right result here. Oh, Mirror Island. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's put Werewolf there for now. We can still collect her next turn with Maria and Snowguard. We'll move Werewolf around. Uh, probably put Collector left, right? Oh, it's also good for Werewolf. I may be wanting to play a lot of small cards. Oh, that's a great Rogue target. This was a decent one, but that's a great one, I think. Uh, so yeah, let's do maybe like Snow Guard here, Maria here, pull Werewolf back to continue getting buffed. We're not really playing for Beast much this game, it looks like. Could do it mid technically, but I think we have good rogue plays. Just not enough, you know, bouncing the Werewolf here kind of discourages us from the Beast a little bit. So Cosmo's interesting. Um does still let you bounce the werewolf. I would say let's do this now before we uh, kind of miss our chance. Weirdly, I think I might like to bounce the werewolf here, proccing the Nico, because we don't want to lose Maria, Snowguard, and Nico. We don't have enough hand space. We don't have hand space for two of them. It would be Nico and Maria, which are pretty good. So Snowguard would stay. Replay these for one, one, and one. Well, one and one, and then a four, or maybe one, one, three. It's probably not perfect, to be honest. I might just be better off with something like a multiple man here, but it's a little a little boring. I don't know. This buffs the collector a little, so that's nice. We don't really care about our top deck because we know it's Chavez, not Loki. So, oh, they moved the soul stone! It's still good, but I'm sad it's not the Kazar, I think. <laughs> I'm a little sad. Oh, it's not the Maria. I played Maria last. That makes sense because Werewolf is Werewolf is right. Um, well, same difference. This is actually better for Collector anyway. Professor X, are you kidding me, bro? <sighs> Tilting. Tilting, I tell you. Oh, add a copy to your hand is pretty legit for us. Um, so we just want like power to pull Werewolf. Snowguard pulls Werewolf back. Uh, well, we can do Nico pulls Werewolf back. Snowguard would pull Werewolf again, but maybe we don't want him to. Maybe we want him mid, because we have Collector here actually getting pretty strong. Then we just use Multiple Man. Well, I don't know, though. We want Snowguard going to hand, although she's going to add two. No, she'll add three. Uh, let me start this over again. So, Wolf. I guess it's, it's got to be... This isn't going to proc, right? That's the sad part. I wanted to add cards for collector. I mean, I guess this is plus one anyway. There's a hand size issue a little bit. Like, this is fine. It's fine. I know I'm losing the snow guard hits, but it's still actually pretty fine. Uh, how big is that? Is that just a Thanos there? What is that going to be? Am I big enough? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <gasps> We're fine. Nice. 
Okay, yeah, pretty annoying. Uh, man, Professor X in every game. I, th I gotta say, guys, like this meta, I am playing less snap than I've played in a long time. I just find lockdown into a lieth so boring. I, it's really, really like it's. Um, it, to me, it kind of feels like the meta is trying to stop people from playing the game, and that is less fun to me than 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 when everybody's trying to get big numbers.